Hi to all the lovely people, you all are once again most welcome to your very own channel, Tutorials Point. Of course, you all know the name. Well, learning about slangs is so in these days, we all just want to sound so cool and exotic and especially when it comes to teen slangs, we all want to get savvy with it so that, you know, just in case we are sitting within a group of teens and uh, that time there shouldn't be any word which we're not aware of or there shouldn't be any word which flies in the social media and we're just not aware of it because it's a common teen slang. So let's go ahead and learn what are these common teen slangs which sort of might make you sound cool. Let's go ahead. Okay, cap. Well, we all love to wear a cap sometimes, but what cap in a slang actually means to fake or a lie. So it's like, you don't need to cap what happened last night. You don't need to cap that. So it's like, you don't need to fake it or you don't need to lie about it. So it's like when somebody's capping, it's like they're just trying to say lie. Emo, well, what is emo? Emo is like sort of a short form of emotional drama sort of a thing. So it's like, or a drama queen, she's like a total emo. So when you say when somebody says she's a total emo, just, you know, that person or that teen in specific um, just means that, you know, she's a complete drama queen. Fam, so fam is again, um, you know, an abbreviation of family. So, so your uh, family and friends who are very close to you, especially your family, that is uh, referred to as fam. Flex, well, what is flex? So flex actually means to show off. So somebody who's a complete show off, who just keeps on throwing weight all around and is just, you know, busy displaying his or her Gucci's and Pradas and all of that all the time is, um, you know, referred to as a flex. So will you just stop flexing? So it's like, will you just stop showing off your stuff? Okay, no cap. So just like cap means to lie or to fake, no cap means to tell the truth or be very, very honest and be real in whatever you are. So that means no cap. So it's like totally true or no lie. So that was really good, no cap. So when, for example, this sentence, it just means that like that was great. It was completely true. It wasn't fake at all. So that's like no cap. Okay, squad. What is a squad? Squad, of course, we all know there could be a flying squad. There could be, um, you know, a group of policemen could be called as a squad. But then what is a squad as a slang? Well, squad actually means group of friends actually who hang out together quite a lot. So very, very close knit um, group of friends who love to hang out together quite a lot are referred to as their squad. So that's a squad going all around with her. So that's like the very, very close friends who um, hang out quite often. Okay, sus. Well, sus again is an abbreviation of suspicious or something that you suspect that is referred to as sus. I sus he's, um, you know, telling a lie. He's capping the truth. So that is what it means that um, sort of a slang way of saying that you're feeling suspicious. Throw shade. So to, to throw shade actually means to uh, give somebody a dirty look. So will you just stop throwing shade at him? So it's like, will you stop giving him a dirty look? So throw shade actually means to give somebody a really dirty look. Tea, of course, we all love tea. We all love to have tea in the morning and in the evening or to sit with our friends and chit chat. But if you want to call it or if you want to use it as a slang, what does it mean? Well, the tea actually sort of means it's sort of a gossip, right? So spilling the tea is actually referred to as gossiping. So tea is more so used in the perspective of gossip. So it's like um, we've been spilling tea ever since we met. So it doesn't literally mean that you've spilled tea, but it means that we've been gossiping ever since we met. So, well, yes, tea is yet another very common, cool teen slang. So I'm sure all these cool teen slangs would have helped you a lot. And um, next time I'm sure there's not going to be a situation wherein there comes up a slang and you're not aware of it because you've heard most of them here. So, well, I will see you again in the next video. Till that time, keep learning with Tutorials Point and Tutorix. Have a great day.